so we're on the road. We're in the motorhome. We're heading out. We left at 10 o'clock. We're going to go about 160 miles. We're going to get some gas because it's supposedly cheaper down there. Uh, get some discounts with a good SAM card. So I'm going to use my good SAM card to get some discounts on gas. Like I say, gas right here in Boise is about $4 a gallon. I am going to have to pick up about 10 gallons worth in order to make it out there. I right now am in between half and a quarter. Up here just a little ways, we'll stop, we'll get some gas, and then we'll make it to the uh, Flying J pilot located out of Jerome, Idaho. So nothing else going on. We're fully loaded, we're ready to go. James is all packed up. Are you over there, James? There you go. All right, don't know if you can hear her or not. She's a little far away, but uh, that's, uh, that's where we're at so far. We'll check back with you in just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna pick up about 10 gallons or so worth of gas right here. Hey, I got a tendency to kind of park far away from the pump at the moment. I also realized I only have one key to the gas door, so I'll have to get another one of those. All right, so I just got gas at a Maverick, 389 per gallon. Got uh, about a little over 12 gallons, so I got a little over a half a tank of gas, which should give me the 168 miles to get to the Flying J, so I can get a little bit cheaper gas. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we're on our next leg. We're going 2,400 in about 80 miles, and we're gonna go 12 days worth. Check back with you later. All right, so we stopped here at the Flying J. Advance notice said it was 3.79 a gallon. About 11 miles back, there was a Maverick that was 3.79 a gallon. I pull up here, it's 3.89 a gallon. I'm going to use my good Sam discount. We're going to see how much money we get off that, and use my good Sam card to get some points. Found I have another problem. When we stopped at a rest area back here, I found some water on the floor, and I've got a couple drips. I got a couple water drips. There's a little drip right there. And there's some dripping from up right up here, and there was some inside the motorhome. So that's not making me very happy. Also, I got a bit of a problem here with the backup camera. Seems like there's a loose wire. It doesn't want to work. After I was driving for a while, cleared up. I don't know if I hit the right bump or whatever. Uh, but I just got gas, starting it up again, and the backup camera's not working. So I got a water leak. The backup camera's not working. I guess you got to be pretty good at maintenance to own a motorhome. So we'll get those worked out tonight. Uh, we're leaving Jerome, Idaho, and we're going to go to uh, Brigham in Utah. There's a Walmart there. It says that we can stay overnight for free, so we're going to try some free camping tonight. I'm going to head down to the Walmart. All right, so I checked the oil. Oil's okay. My gases came out at uh, 6.2 miles per gallon. Probably a couple hundred miles of that, or at least a half a tank of gas, was the trip that we took from Montana. Kind of mountainous, and we ran the generator the whole time. So that is averaged into what we were doing today. Can't say exactly what I was getting. We're just, we're not running the air conditioner, the generator and the air conditioners today because there's just two of us. Uh, we're just up front setting in the auto air conditioning. Got my backup camera going or my uh, dash cam going. I got two dash cams. I've only got one set up right now. Backup camera's working. I'm using my Garmin to track with and I used RV Wizard to lay out my path. We're heading to Walmart. Uh, we're gonna check out free camping. All right, so uh, about 306 miles or so from Boise, we are in Brigham, Utah. I'm at a Walmart. Just went in and checked with the manager, Sarah. She says it's fine for us to park overnight as long as we're not blocking any of the lanes. We've got a nice little spot over here off to the side, so we're going to go ahead and camp out there. All right, we'll be back at you a little bit later. All right, so just sitting in the motorhome right now. It's about 4.35 o'clock. There was another motorhome over here in the parking area. I just see another one. I don't know what time people show up to park in Walmart parking lots. I mean, this is my first time. It's kind of an experience, so we're going to see what goes on. Uh, granddaughter wants to go in and buy something in Walmart. Imagine that, a six-year-old wanting to buy something in Walmart. So we're going to go into Walmart, wander around a little bit, and then we're going to come back out. Fortunately, I'm not going to leave the generator running or the air conditioner on, so motorhome's probably going to get warm, so we'll see how we handle that later. Here, I should do this. 